Hello, I am Kobe from Herms Hobbies and I'm here with another unboxing. This is the Voyager spacecraft, unmanned space probe, and this is a very famous space probe. It was uh, sent up there 5th of September 1977 and is still going, as we know. Its max speed is like 61,000 kilometers an hour. It's currently traveling, what was it, like 30, 39? Um, this was designed to explore beyond our heliosphere and it done it. It's out there. It passed our heliosphere, I believe I'm saying it right, in 2008 and I believe I'm saying that right as well. So there's the Voyager 1 and there's the Voyager 2. The Voyager 1, which is this one, actually took off after the Voyager 2, but it reached its target earlier. It is currently 15 billion miles, because that's what the website told me, 15 billion miles away from us, from where it was launched. And it is still going. There are live updates on the NASA website. Anyway, I'm going to stop waddling on. You can research about this yourself. Let's open it up. Here's the kit, made by Hasegawa, 148th scale, so it's a nice scale. Opening the box, very, very spacious box indeed. I actually just want to show you here, and zoom in a little bit. This is what you get, don't get upset. You get a little uh, diorama base for it, a little stand, a little metal prod, and then you have the model sticking up above the earth. Very nice details. These are your sprues, which we'll go through now. Let's do it. Hold on, Christmas. You know? All right. Well, well, well. What do we have here? If it's not the Earth, I don't know what it is. Here it is. This is your little diorama. And you get this little figure here of an alien in case we contact them. Because another interesting fact about this is it carries a record and not just any record but the record of the sounds of earth in case these guys find it and then they can come to us as geographical uh, coordinates what is there geography in space i'm not sure but it has uh, coordinates and this is what it's housed in and it's molded in this chrome gold color and then your next sprue is going to be the model itself here we have the big dish I'm not even going to call it a satellite dish. Everyone's just going to yell at me. Um, we have the big antenna or something. We just have a lot and a lot of parts that make up this highly complex aircraft or uh, probe, as we call it. Moving on, you get this really cool card explaining to you how it exited our heliosphere in our uh, Japanese. So good luck reading that. This is it here. <laughs> it's really nice. This is the actual model built up. It. Um, they haven't got like a photo or a digital rendering. This is a photo of the actual model, which is really nice. So you have like radio antenna, astronomy and plasma wave antenna. It basically goes through telling you each component of this very cool probe that you're about to build. Instructions shouldn't be too complicated. Like this. I can't even do this like a regular uh, unboxing because I don't know what all these parts mean. High gain antenna assembly. Let's just go through it together. The back of that assembly. The bus housing electronics assembly. That's pretty cool. Housing the mast. I know what a mast is, ships have those. Meter unit assembly. That's probably for meteorology. I'm not sure. More mast assembly. RTG, which means Radio Thope Thermic Generator. You can read about that yourself. And then it all comes together. We have a parts breakdown. And then here we go, the golden record. And then paints. You will have to paint this one, I believe, but it does look pretty good unpainted. Well, I believe that's it. This was the Voyager 1 spacecraft. I hope you've enjoyed in 148th scale. 
Thanks for coming along for the ride. We will see you next time. I'm Kobe from Hearns Hobbies, and have a great day. Cheers.